Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JTO Sullivan. Today, Daniel Jones, preseason, week two, fired up. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. Before we dive into the video, a quick reminder about the Quarterback School Patreon community, a great way to support the channel, get even more Quarterback School content. If you love the Quarterback School YouTube channel, you will love the Quarterback School Patreon community. The link is in the video description. Never been cheaper to join, so hop over there, join, support the channel, get even more content. I appreciate it. As for this video, let's get into it. All right, Daniel Jones, getting it going early, working the little slant or short post up top to the guy in motion. Let it clear right back underneath it. Boom, on the body. I like these kind of calls early in games. You get you in a rhythm, get you feeling good. Not the hardest throw in the world, but again, the ball's coming out. It's decisive. It's on the body on the break. So what am I talking about? This guy in motion 12, we're going to get cleared out by the number one, and then we're going to come right underneath it. So this idea being that whatever's here, say if it's a deep out post, doesn't really matter what it is, you're going to get this what I'm going to call it is a short post. And it might be an option right underneath it. And so you just allow this thing. You kind of, you do everything to kind of say, Hey, we're going this way. We're going this way. We've got multiple guys going downfield and then you snap back underneath. And usually the defender is going to be over the top and outside. So you've got this kind of natural lane to be able to not throw the ball very far, but we're not throwing it to a static receiver, a guy like a button hook going to turn around we're going towards our end zone. We're falling forward. It's just a philosophically, you know, get your guy going downhill early with a nice, easy catch. Whoop. Again, watch that slot defender go with the motion seven. So watch him jump outside the number one. Whoop. Then we've got him. That's easy. That's what that little clear does. So just a nice job of offensive architecture to be able to construct a nice, easy completion. Get us going. Good base right up on him. Let's go. Very next one. Let's go back to the well, up top, slanty. Same type of throw. Again, I really like the base. I also really like when wide receivers get big on crybaby corners. Me, you push me. Look at the flow. <laughs> what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Yeah, it's tackle football. Nice, again, base-wise from Daniel Jones. Boom. You know, that's about as wide as you'll ever see a quarterback play in the league. But I like the decisiveness of just one stepping it. So catch one step out. And again, you know, get off me up top. <laughs> Hit him with the one arm dumbbell press. Get off me. Nice. And you know, I also really like the fast four motion down here to the bottom. So if you didn't like it, it looks like they've got swing screen on. So if I had to imagine how this play is constructed. It's essentially, do you like this one-on-one -on -one slant? Okay, if we do like that, let's take it. If you don't like that, we've got this, what I'm used to calling fast four. So fast four, that just means the fourth eligible to one side. He's going to go on this tear or gash motion, and then all these guys are just going to block. So we're going to block, block the three most dangerous, and you've got good options. Again, what does this look like compared to the last play? The ball is getting out quick, y'all. This is not preseason. We're going to hold on to it, take seven-step drop, get smacked in the face. The ball's coming out. Find one-on-ones, get it out of your hand. You know, up front, they cut. Get your offensive lineman going, watch the tackles. Chop. Okay. I love doing that early in games to guys. Chop. Get your hands down. Completion. Let's go. Next one here. This is a tough one for me. Both quarterback execution-wise, getting your guy hit, but also design execution as well. And it might just be execution. We're going to talk through all of it. Love the play action. Love taking a shot down the field. You know, I would say you probably have to catch this ball. I would also say it's unsafe, not cool from the quarterback. So back in the day, this is an ER shot. We're in all sorts of trouble. Nowadays, it's still a big shot. And you'd never like to see your guy get your guy hit like that. I mean, that's that's about as big of a shot as you'll see nowadays. But man, he was open. He was open for a while. I'm not quite sure why you wouldn't have thrown it quicker. You know, that's the part I think with Daniel Jones that you, know, you just want to see everything happen just a tick faster down the field. So here's the ball. I mean, he could be thrown anywhere, in my opinion. Could be thrown here, could be thrown even earlier, maybe even a tick later, but you throw it all the way over here. And now the half field safety 
is able to come down and hit this thing. So the other part about this that I don't love, and I don't know if this is on the wide receiver or on the design, but oftentimes on this type of route where you're going to get a crosser from one side, you'll get a post on the other. And so if you're going to get a post here, for me, I prefer this, this post, in my opinion, has to go capture the near safety. So to me, he has to run through this near safety. Now, some teams allow you to run like four yards inside the safety, but you got to capture this guy. You can't allow this to happen where he comes off and hits your teammate. So that's the first part. I think he gets probably pushed from this corner who's carrying. So the corner's locked on here. He's going to carry with this post, and it's going to end up pushing him way over here almost, which then allows, when he runs with him like this, allows this safety to then come off and hit the over. So, so this part of it, to me, I'm not a huge fan of the play. Again, quarterback-wise, evaluation-wise, never, ever like to see quarterbacks get their guys hit like this. But see that post get pushed way over to the middle of the logo? Come on, dog. We can't be doing that. We can't be doing that. That then allows that safety 24 to hit, spin off of it and come downhill. I mean, look. I mean, it's open. Throw it, dog. And then the other thing is maybe just throw it harder. Throw it. We don't need a batting practice shot up there. Put it on and protect him with the ball. You could also maybe say the over could throttle down in space, but you know, again, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure what you're looking at. Why? Throw it now, now, now. A little late, big hit. Next one here, a little second level RPO. Really like this play. Like this kind of execution. Again, bouncing the back or juggling the back. Wide zone. We're going to read the second level backside inside linebacker. So when seven goes, who's on the bottom of the NY logo, you see him. I mean, that's an easy read. So I haven't seen it. I haven't done it in a while, but I feel like I haven't done it in a while. Maybe it's just the preseason. But here's the conflict defender. So that's who we're reading. When I say second level defender, I'm talking about first level of the defense, offensive line, second level of the defense, linebacker types, third level of the defense, DB types. So we're going to read this second level Backside inside linebacker or the mic. Once he inserts into the run, we don't have anybody to block him. We don't have anybody to block him because we've got five and these five are blocking these five. Right here. So we're out, we're up, and backside, we're solid here. The reason we're solid is because we're throwing it. So we don't want to leave the backside in first level and throw something down the field. And I think they end up running like slant, flat, flat. A uh, flat slant slant, I should say. So the 86 is in the flat, and then the number two is coming with the slant. Watch seven. I mean, <laughs> y'all, come on now. That's way too easy to have our RPO read. Holy moly. It's a big ass hole right on zero. Love it. So again, just watch that linebacker type right here. Easy to see. Conflict defender. Route wise, what did I say? Flat. Slant, I think. Probably two slants if we're going to do it like that. And this is, once he inserts into the run fit, this makes a huge lane and an easy throw. Just, this is too easy for the NFL level. But like to be able to see just clean RPO sometimes. That's like a 2015 look right there. Like it. From the back, just reading seven. Again, another indicator that it's RPO is bouncing the back. Don't let the defensive front get a beat on where the back is, sidecar. Really like the mechanics here from Daniel Jones. Again, he's as wide as anybody that you'll see, but he keeps a good base. I don't mean good base meaning narrow. I mean just like no heel click. All his cleats in the ground, under control, balanced, right on him. Let's go. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications, let it wash over you. It is an easy way to support the channel, and I sincerely appreciate you subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to me, so thank you for doing that. Again, the Quarterback School Patreon community, get even more Quarterback School content. Easy, great way to support the channel. I appreciate all the patrons. In addition, we've got Quarterback School courses, the absolute premium content available through the channel, all sorts of in-depth courses on my favorite football topics, tempos, RPOs, pass protection, the best seller is how to beat every coverage, we also have an entire offensive system. So if you enjoy how I teach and talk ball, you will love the courses. Get over there, enroll, links in the video description. We also have a bunch of free resources available. Finally, make sure to follow me across social media platforms. I really do appreciate 
all of the support. So thank you for that. As for this video, let's get back to it. Next one here, third and seven. Really like this design execution. This is what I'm used to calling a search route by the number three down here to the bottom right on the hash. You really allow them to just get there and get open. So putting it to our guy Ejero right here, working the number three. He thinks he's back in the day with Patty Etap. Again, you know, it's a little bit funky because you can see 12 how he comes out of it. So put your guy as the number three, let him just destroy a linebacker in preseason. Got no chance. It's going to be tough to get looks like that during the regular season. But right here, got to love it. So again, you can see the safety down here to the bottom. He's communicating the call. Go three by one after the shift. And this to me is just the bones of four verticals. So four verticals to me, you, know, you should know this if you're watching this channel with the logo, but out of three by one, this is what the bones of four verticals look like. Now that doesn't mean it's going to be four verticals right here at the top. This search route to me is come in and then you can really do anything. You'll see guys wrap around. You know, you, you've got all sorts of like umbrella options here. You just need to win. We got to trust you to get open. And you sure as hell have to be able to get open versus a linebacker, versus a middle linebacker type. So this is all sorts of work here. This is really nice. Again, about this is what I consider like a preseason-ish rep as far as the space you're working with. Whoop. I mean, that's as open as you'll ever see on a third and medium to long. Regardless, nice job from Daniel Jones seeing it. Nice job scheming us up in the preseason. Good little base right up on his face. First down, let's go. Next one here, really nice little naked keeper. Looks like zone read to the right, or I guess zone read, the zone is to the left, but we're naked keepering to the right. We're going to hit the over, the new number one to the bottom. Got two options in the flat. Clears out for the over. Nice job from Daniel Jones. Again, more athletic than people think. Get out on the edge, create a little bit, to alleviate some pressure by the offensive line. Elephants on parade to the left, and that's as open as you'll ever see on an over. Really nice job. Again, design wise, like the shift. You know, this is game planning. If I'm, I'm, I like the way that they get there as far as it's not a traditional naked keeper where you're just kind of banging flat, you know, over, post, corner. That's traditional kind of what it looks like. This is a little bit more. This guy's in the flat right away, turns into a wheel. Then we've got a sneak flat coming across also. Then we've got the over. And then I don't really care what the number one does. He just needs to get out of the way. So you've got essentially kind of one, probably right away to the flat, two to the sneak high flat, three to the over. So you come out of this thing. And again, I think it's hard to run naked keepers out of gun pistol here. So they're going to make it look like zone read. We're going to not block the edge player. He's going to think he's getting red. He's going to surf it, come down here and try to squeeze this back. Well, he doesn't know that we're coming out of this thing. So we are out, come out, no to the flat, no to the sneak flat, yes to the over, getting downhill. Again, just kind of appreciate the little game planniness, appreciate the kind of subtle spice to this play. No, no, yes. Excellent. Nice little chunk. Again, I like seeing Daniel Jones run it. I like seeing Daniel Jones moving around, getting out on the edge, alleviating some pressure up front, getting some easy completions, staying in rhythm. But I mean, let's... <laughs> Let's also keep it real, okay? There's nobody around him. That's as clean as it ever looks. I mean, there's not even barely a defender in the screen on that over. Regardless, we're inside the 10. Let's go. Next one here. This one's, uh, you know, it's really, really cool. It probably should be a touchdown. Okay, so the first part, I'm going to go back. Uh, let's let it play one time. Naked keeper, bottom, miss the throw on the back shoulder. You know, does he get in if it's a perfect throw? Probably. It probably does. You know, you can see the throw here. He does a nice job spinning and catching it, you know, on the back shoulder, not the kind of back shoulder you want to throw. Tough. Now, pay attention to this. And again, watch Daniel Jones's reaction down here to the bottom. He knows he didn't put it perfectly, right? Should be a better ball. Watch Daniel Jones right here. He's going to motion the wide receiver in. He's going to point. Look at him point at the safety. <laughs> I love this. This is like old school gamesmanship, in my opinion. So he gets the says, hey, you're coming in. You got to dig this guy out. We need you to dig out the safety. Dig him out. And you'll say something like, dig out whatever his number is, 24. Who cares? And so you're going to come in here and then come up here and dig him out. Well, in reality, you're going to set everything up that you're going to do that. Come across, dig him out, dig him out, and then you're out. Then you're out into the sneak flat. 
Okay, and not only does he do it right here, it's awesome, but he does it the next play as well. So I love to see this kind of little nuanced detail. That's how you sell these things, especially down in the red area. Better ball, maybe a touchdown. Again, I personally think it's harder to go to the left. You kind of got to carve it downhill. I think he just misses it right there. It looks pretty good besides for the ball location. Next one here, touchdown pass. Same thing from Daniel Jones. Watch him point. Look at the gamesmanship. <laughs> He did it again, y'all. That's the next play. We're going to do a naked to the left again. This time it is a touchdown. Navigate the edge. Got him. I mean, you, I don't know if I've ever seen it back to back. I love it. Yeah, I love that little craftsmanship, the like true trade craft you bring to the position. Again, and appreciating it from the all 22. You know, so you got him. Dig him out. Go get him. We're running it in. We're running it in. Oh, no, we're not. Naked keeper. I mean, the only thing I would say is maybe if I was in the room with these guys, I would say, hey, bro, I love this kind of stuff. Let's do this in practice. Let's save this. We don't need this in the preseason. But regardless, I appreciate the nuance, the detail that he's bringing and playing at the position. Nice job right here, navigating it. Touchdown. Again, going to the left, not the easiest throw in the world. Get there a little unique way with the bang flat. The other thing about the bang flat that I like here in this situation is it secures the edge. So you don't have a free runner right in your face, right? The inline tight end 82. Bang, throw him and go. Touchdown. Let's go. So that is a wrap. Daniel Jones preseason week two. Lots to like. Not a huge body of work by any means. I thought overall, though, really like the play calling the offensive architecture. That is getting early completions, getting early completions that are easy completions downhill. So those early slants or short posts, getting the ball out of his hand quickly, letting the offensive line cut. Then we're taking shots down the field, play action. We're moving the launch point. We're moving the Daniel Jones, getting him out on the edge. And then I really like the acting, the selling of some of those naked keepers at the very end of this thing when they get down to the goal line and he's pointing out safeties, bringing wide receivers in motion, trying to sell who they're going to dig out, and then we're going to throw it back to back to the left. Not perfect the first time. Good enough the second time. Really nice little compact series of plays. Excited to see what the Giants look like this year. It should be fun. Let me know who you want to see next. I certainly appreciate your support. I will see you next time. Have a good one.